for a select group of, of individuals, very few people like to do the minor uh, stuff like rotator cuff, external rotation work, trap three raises, working those small muscles that do not have an impact on how your body looks and in the short term don't impact that much how much you can lift. But neglecting those smaller muscle groups is something that can come and bite you in the ass in the future. I know because that is the biggest problem, mistake I made in my own training, neglecting those small muscle groups. I've always been a guy who liked to lift heavy weights, okay? Bench big weights, overhead press big weights, clean big weights, snatch big weights. Uh, I've spent years without doing a single set of isolation work because it was boring to me. So you can imagine that I never did external rotation work for example, or trap three raises, or anything that would have helped bulletproof my shoulders. And I'm paying the price. Now, I'm starting now to be able to press heavy again for the first time in six years, because I would press heavy, press heavy, press heavy, but my rotator cuffs were so weak, external rotators were so weak, that eventually my shoulder just gave out. And because of that, I became inhibited. Even though I had the same amount of upper body muscle that I had when I was at my strongest point, I couldn't lift weights that were 60% of my maximum. Just because I was so inhibited that I couldn't stabilize the shoulder and my body would protect itself by preventing the muscle from firing. Uh, so I figured, well, the problem is that okay, I have the same shoulder mass, I have the same triceps, same chest, but I, I, I I, I'm bench pressing like 150 pounds less than I bench press at my best, which doesn't make sense. So I, I, I tested myself on external rotation. Now, if you look at the structural balance from Charles Polican, then you should be able to do external rotation for eight reps with about 10% of your bench press. And when I tested myself, I had problems doing 7.5 pounds for eight reps. So in theory, that would equate to a 75 pounds bench press. Of course, it, I got weaker, but not that weak. But that just shows how much of a deficit I had my rotator cuffs. So, and what really helped me start to be able to press fairly heavy again was focusing on that external rotation. So doing that almost every day for a few weeks, and it's really helping. I don't have any shoulder pain anymore. But I would have prevented that problem had I started right from the start, from the bat, off the bat, doing external rotation work, trap three, face pulls, the minor stuff that is not glorious and is not fun to do, but it is needed to have longevity in training. Longevity is so important because, well, it's pretty cool to bench press heavy when you're 28, but trust me, it's when you get older, and then you look back, hey, I'm lifting 200 pounds less than I used to bench. That stings, man. I mean, it, 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 I would have preferred to never have lifted these weights knowing that I can't lift them anymore. Because it's hard not to be able to do something that used to be fairly easy. But, so if I had done my work, doing structural balance work for the rotator cuffs and all those minor muscle, then I would not have the issues I, I, I'd had for the past six years. Now, hopefully, I'm going to be able to get back to where I should have been. But the message here is that everybody likes to program the cool lifts, the new techniques, the best loading schemes. But few people think about those minor exercises, uh, about how to warm up properly for a session, prepare properly for a session. But these are the things that make a difference in longevity. And longevity is really important because if you are passionate about training, you know you're going to be lifting for the, for your, the rest of your life. Okay? And if you can't enjoy big basic barbell lifting with heavy weights anymore, then training is going to suck. Trust me, I did. I had to do tons of isolation-based work for like two years because that's all I could do for the upper body, and it was really demotivating. So trust me do it or have your clients do it before it comes to bite you in the ass.